we're in the Mercedes EQS AMG 53 Formatic Plus. Long name. Let's see what it's got. Shift it to Sport Plus. And uh, this thing has something called track pace where you can measure your drags. Right? So I press play. Foot on the brake. Other foot on the accelerator. Try this at home. This is a closed road. Don't do this on the open road. 0 to 50 in 1.8 seconds, 0 to 100 in 4 seconds. We are at an incline, so understandable. It otherwise does it in 3.4 seconds. A reaction time of 0.76. It's, I mean, so much to play with when you're driving this car. And 3.4 seconds, 0 to 100. In a car that weighs 2.7 tons, it's got four seats. It's unreal how fast this is. I mean, let me wrap my brains around how this car is so fast and so huge at the same time. Let me stop by the side of the road and show you around the car while I try to comprehend the craziness of this AMG. I quite like the way this EQS AMG looks, but it doesn't look like an AMG though, does it? Because, you know, it's uh, an AMG is supposed to be loud and shouty, but when you've got this whole no-noise game going on, how are you going to design it to make it look aggressive? Anyway, this, since it has the donor car as the EQS, it's got a really slippery design, uh, a lovely Panamericana grille, swept back headlamps and this lovely roof line that goes all the way to the rear. It's got a 0.23 drag coefficient compared to 0.2 on the regular EQS. That's because of these larger 21 inch wheels. On the side, well, it's not got a frunk, so all you get is this opening for the washer fluid. Over here, you've got these door handles that tuck in when you start driving for reducing the aerodynamic drag. And moving to the rear, again, these swept back tail lamps with the AMG you know, logo on the back and let me open the boot and show how much space it's got. It's got 610 litres of boot space so I don't think you'll uh, ever miss a trunk you know, for an electric car when you're driving this car. Now if you're more interested in the back seat of the car you'd probably want to go for the regular EQS. This is the EQS AMG so the suspension is set up slightly stiffer. Uh, nevertheless, the seats are very comfortable. You've got enough leg room here. The seats are set to my driving position. I'm 5 feet 10 and a half and uh, I fit in nice and comfortably here. You get a tab here. Uh, you don't get massage seats for the rear seats, of course, uh, but you can adjust your seating position, your climate control, ambient lighting, all those things over here. Uh, that's about it for the rear. You get frameless uh, windows here as, uh, as you get for the front doors. And uh, if you want to spend more time in the rear seats, I'd rather go for an EQS in the AMG. I'd rather hop into the front seats. So let's hop in front and see what the AMG's got. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Can you turn the massage function on on the driver's seat? All right. I'm starting the requested massage on the driver's seat. Ah, thank you. Right, so I've got some time to wrap my head around how fast this car is. I mean, electric acceleration hits you different compared to petrols. Just the instant torque, the way the car surges ahead, it masks all those batteries on the floor, the weight of the car, almost 2.7 tons, and it just doesn't feel its weight. The power just is instantaneous, the torque is instantaneous, it goes to all four wheels, and it's just a rocket ship that it can do almost 600 kilometers on a full charge. Sure, that's like WLTP range in the real world. I'm probably gonna get about 400 and 450 kilometers driving like a hooligan. You go around, say, you go take, take it easy and it'll go 
about 500 kilometers on a full charge that's like pune to goa without stopping for charging it's not just the acceleration the way this car catapults from one corner to another it's the way it turns in it's got 2.7 tons but it just turns in like a nifty little hatchback that all wheel steer the rear wheel steer it can turn almost 9 degrees so you know it, it really shortens a corner shortens happens you may look at 5.3 meters of car entering the corner but the way it turns in it's just cheating the car to tell it that no you are just 4 meters long you know you just got it make that turn it just does that turn that rear wheel steer is really magical on long cars like these With the AMG Dynamic Plus package, the EQS 53 makes 751 horsepower and 1,020 newton meters of torque. I have never driven a car with four-digit torque figures. This car packs more horsepower than a Ferrari 488 Pista or a McLaren 720s. And when it comes to torque, it's in a whole other league altogether. All that performance would suck the life out of a battery, and so the AMG's 107.8 kilowatt hour battery comes in very handy. It's the biggest on any EV sold in India. All you CEOs looking at this video could buy the EQS 53 as part of your CSR and take it to light up a village or something. What honestly blows my mind is not just the pace but the effortlessness with which it uh, delivers that pace. The suspension is set up so perfectly for uh, the AMG. It, it takes all these bad roads as if they don't exist. The only thing you have to be careful about are the really big breakers. where you got to you know crap crawl over it but otherwise i mean this car will go everywhere i think this is a car you can go cross country in that air suspension will ensure that you just don't scrape anywhere the car understands the road surface so well and adjusts to it to give you just that perfect ride it's got mega six piston brakes up front and Yeah, use this and the rear as well. You need that stopping power. It's such a heavy car. It's 2.7 tons, right? So, getting that car to slow down, it needs these mega brakes. I think they are they are 400 mm discs if I'm not wrong. But these brakes are required to stop the car. And then it's so comfortable. And then of course, it's not just the the suppleness in the ride, but it's the way it handles all this weight. A car this size shouldn't be able to take corners the way it does. This car just grips and goes. The only minor drawback compared to a car like, say, the Taycan Turbo, is that this car uses a 400 volt architecture compared to the Porsche's 800 volt architecture. But then again, how much excess is excess? Until there's a proper fast charging network in India, this is just a fancy number on a spec sheet. At least Mercedes network will allow. for fast charging at multiple locations they are planning to set up 140 plus chargers across the country within the first year out of which there will be 20 60 kilowatt chargers and 20 180 kilowatt chargers at mercedes dealerships and service centers across the country and these will be free to use for mercedes customers for the first year if you've got a 200 kilowatt hour charger on the highway is going to give this car 300 kilometers of range in just 19 minutes I mean, if you have these fast DC chargers across the country, doing thousand, fifteen hundred kilometers in an electric car over a day, possible? It's not possible in in a petrol car. So that's the the future of touring in EVs. And a car like this, the EQS, is perfect for long distance touring. It's got the suspension. It's got the it's got everything. Yeah, it's got the comfort. Right so the EQS 53 AMG is blisteringly quick and it's super luxurious. Would you swap it for a 7 series or an S class? Would you pay 2.45 crores plus maybe half a crore for optional extras and get the first electric AMG ever? Let us know in the comments. Does this AMG do fuzzy things to you?